Everywhere I go, I keep a picture in my wallet like you. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one. literally had me gagged, okay? Gouged my eyes out, skinned me alive, rolled me around in butter and then dipped me in condensed milk, put me in the air fryer preheated 350, took me out, swung me around like a rag doll, hit me against the wall, made me play Wii Sports for three hours straight. And that's a good thing? <laughs> What are the results, Doc? Just give it to me straight. I'm afraid you've got testicular cancer and only three days to live. Oh my god. Now give it to me, gay. You've got testicular cancer and it's over for you. Oh my god. They say home is where the heart is. But God, I love the English. You know I love the London boy. <laughs> Sure thing. It's just swipe a bit to the right, sorry. It's just a, um, yeah, just a bit, just a little bit, sorry. Just one more, thank you. Think I like you best when Everywhere I go, I keep a picture in my wallet like you. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Do you know who Jacob Alordi is? Yeah. What do you think about him? I think he drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, I would let him do gnarly things. Is he gay? I don't know what he is. Is he bi? I'll turn him. <laughs> I'd let Jacob Alordi pound me so hard. Jake, well, I don't want to hear about the, that. I'd see the tip I come out you, in between my Jake, molars. I do not want to hear about that and there's no reason for you to be so graphic. Like, nobody wants to hear that. I'm being so dead ass serious. I don't need to hear that. What's the point? It's ridiculous. I'm just trying to set a no, visual. No, you're just, no, it's not even a visual. You're trying to get a rise out of people. I'm not trying to get a rise out of anyone. That's I'm trying that. to get a rise out of Jacob. Well, <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> words for you. Brick house, baby girl. Brick house. All I want you to do is just be respectful of people's I want him to make my salt burn. Boundaries. There are boundaries. We don't want to know what's going on in your bedroom. Period. Or his bedroom. No, I don't no, want to know. Do. I want to know. No. I don't want to know. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? And let me tell you what the rain is. Oh God. It gets worse every day. Are you going into Frothy ejaculate. Now I know what those poor right. villagers of Pompeii right. felt like. Frothy ejaculate. Feel this. Feel this for him. Doesn't it feel like a cock? You're sick. You're fucking How bad can I be? How bad could I possibly be? Let's see. Ew, I totally just got the ick from my man. Girl, shut up. You just weren't in love. Because I feel like my man could do anything, and I wouldn't even get the ick. I'd be like, he's so dreamy. I'm married! If you want to get to him, you have to go do me first. Right, big brother? <laughs> I can't. That's just it. Like it.
need to be gay. Hmm. Trust me, gay is in, gay is hot. I want some gay. I met a really cute boy at work. So it was a couple of days ago now, but I was at work and I was serving this guy and I went up to him and I was like, oh, hey, I feel like I've seen you here a couple of times before. He's like, yeah, I come here a bit. I charge my parents' car across the road. It's my favorite errand to do. And I was like, awesome, my name's Tom. And he introduced himself. We chatted for a bit and it was really nice. And then when he was leaving, he came up to get a takeaway coffee cup. And he's like, oh, I should be back next week. And I was like, oh, awesome, I'd love to see you again. And now I'm just holding out for him to come back this week, fingers crossed. Um, hopefully I can get the balls to ask for his number, which is something I never do. But I really want to and I'm really excited. Everywhere I go, I keep a picture in my wallet like you. Okay, look at LA looking cunty. Hey, girl. Hi. What's up, y'all? Let's style my handsome boyfriend. First, we're gonna grab these jeans from Jaded London. Uh, they're super baggy. Oh, there he goes kicking shit. The wash on these jeans is so sick and they fit him so good. Then we're gonna grab this Western belt, throw that on. Next, we're gonna grab this white tee to throw under everything just for a little layering. Then we got this zip up jacket from PacSun. I kind of have him zip it all the way up and you know I had to fix him up a little bit. Then we got this camo hat for a nice little pop of something. Um, doesn't he look so handsome? And then we got this bag because he never wears bags but they look so good on him and they elevate your outfit, y'all wear a bag. Then we grabbed his Sambas that he lives and breathes for. <laughs> then we did a little happy dance because fit is finally done. Now he's gonna do a little spin for you guys and yep, that's the finished fit. I mean, look at the smile, look at the boy. He is just the most handsome thing I've ever seen. So, yep. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. Ooh, okay. My boyfriend? Well, he's not my boyfriend. Um, and no, I'm not delusional. It's gonna happen. And yeah, I've said that about the past five guys. He would not be impressed with this con. He would not. Everywhere I go, I keep a picture in my wallet like you. It's me, Troy Savon. Okay, it's okay, Kayla. Try asking him what he is. What are you? Are you a demon? No, not quite, girly. I'm an Australian YouTube twink turned indie pop star <laughs> and model turned HBO actor Troy Savon being played by an American actor who can't do an Australian accent. <laughs> Bye, diva. <laughs> okay, Kayla, what did he tell you? He said his name is Troy Savon? Oh, no. <laughs> I was afraid of this. What did he look like? Shirt small as can be, pants as big as they come? Yes, yes, what does that mean? Well, we're seeing this more and more now that this boy is sneaking his way into the mainstream. You're the fourth woman I've seen this week who's suffering from Troy Savon dancing as her sleep demon. But why? Why is Troy Savon dancing at me? It's hard to say. There's a lot we don't know about sleep science and there's a lot we don't know about Troy Savon. But isn't he kind of famous? He's gay famous, it's different. <laughs> So he's like Nathan Lane. No, not at all. <laughs> okay, Kayla, I'm going to induce him again, but this time it's very important that you tell me exactly what the dance looks like, okay? Hey, homie, watch me do choreo. Let's go. Oh, oh, he's, he's back and he's still dancing. Breathe, Kayla, can you describe the dance? Well, it looks like he's trying out a new pair of legs. What else? What else? Uh, Amazing. I'm gonna win the award for best gay doctor. <laughs> Dr. E, Dr. E, am I gonna be okay? Maybe. Does the dance look like this? Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs>